አቶ ኩሉ ፋሚሊ የመረጃ የምክርና የአውታረ መረብ መድረክ ነው ለናንተ ተቃሚ የሆኑ መረጃዎችን በጤና በትምህርት በንግድና በተለያዩ የማህበራዊ ጉዳዮች ሰላችሁ ይቀርባል I'm a civil rights attorney helping people to get their own civil rights respected in the United States while I'm serving my community my society USCIS is violating my right because my husband and I were separated for 8 years for unsubstantial or unproven reason. USCIS and the State Department are denying my husband for an immigrant visa I-130 due to false accusations. False accusations such as my husband in El Salvador is a gang member, but this is not true. When we asked for evidence, they only provided after the lawsuit, the lawsuit to a higher court. Previously, we attempted so many efforts in State Department, USCIS, at the embassy in El Salvador too, to find out the concrete reason why my husband was denied of this visa, immigrant visa, to come and join me and enjoy our marriage. But this didn't happen. So the final and the true reason why they denied my husband of a visa was revealed after a lawsuit. It's sad. How many people can afford a lawsuit? How many people can afford to hire a lawyer? But in my case, I'm a lawyer myself, and I have the support of even the United States Congress members, the support of family uh, rights activists, advocates. I have the support of former immigration lawyers. I have so much support, human rights uh, activists like SLU, But even with that, I had to work hard to find out the main and the true reason why my husband was denied of this immigration visa. So it is not true. What well, we have found out, my husband is not a gang member. My husband does not have a criminal record. That is also f- false because there is no a paper or video or audio evidence, a concrete evidence to prove that. My husband is not also someone else in a criminal organization where they stated it on the main reason. So this is this has been a practice by USCIS to deny a spouse of a visa. I have known so many couples in my even community who have been denied visa and they have been divorced. Their family were kept apart. Their family was denied of the basic human rights for US citizens. So this has to be really concrete. Why the USCIS denies visa for spouses? They have to clearly state it. Not that they give a general or a broad reason, or because your marriage is fake, or because the, the evidences do not prove that you are married, because you don't have assets together, because you don't have banks together, that doesn't prove a fake marriage. This is her argument. Luckily, she's been supported by so many activists, advocates, human rights uh, you know, activists, and she's leading this uh, argument. Uh, they've been hearing oral arguments uh, in April that will follow up on this case in the court and update you as well. For your reading pleasure, I put the link in the YouTube comment. Thank you. Good luck. Website hachinet akulkulfamily.com ni gomyo. Ba social media katalun. Akulkulfamily.